Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now, none of us is aware of where the differences between William Ruto and Gadda Gashagwa originated from. These were good friends who fought through the campaign to win the presidency and ascend to power. None of us knows that. But William Ruto and Gadda Gashagwa are well aware of where their differences have originated. But someone would ask a question, what will bring this huge difference between two men? They're not fighting for a woman. It can be all about money or business control. Something close to that. Now today there's information that has been shared in the newspapers and if you read those headlines, you'll get to know some of the issues that might have warranted the differences between Ruto and Gashagwa. For example, Taifa Leo, here is what they are sharing. They are, they are, they are sharing. Talaka Chafu, um, Wali Kaidi, Vikwazo Vyote na Kuungana Katika Uchaguzi, Wa Urais Mnamo 2022, Wakashinda na Kuingia Mamlakani. Hata hivyo, sasa ni la rasmi kwamba uhusiano kati ya rais William Ruto na naibu wake Rigathi Gachagua huenda hautawahi kuwa ulivyokuwa tena aondolewe mamlakani au asiondolewe na, se, na seneti au mahakama their relationship will never be the same whether he will be removed by the Senate or he is reinstated by the Senate or the court. It will never be the same. But now, the Jewish part is here if you read the standard. In the third newspaper, not in the main headline, but down there you will see a small headline, Messy Divorce. What really went wrong? Insiders say the problem, sorry, insiders say the broken friendship between President Ruto and his deputy, Rigathi Gashagwa, who joined forces to brave raw state power and uh, mount a formidable campaign for power in 2022 could have its origin in it and fulfill the promises and money <laughs> and fulfill the promises and the money that is now one of the reasons men are believing is the beginning of the differences between these two leaders now during the campaign for 2022 it is said that Ruto had been financially starved by his boss Uhuru Kenyatta you know, the issue of tenders, the issue of when you through tenders, you get kickbacks, then you put budget high, so there's something you get. So he was in desperate need for money. Money for what? Money for campaign. The other is that campaign financiers were in short supply towards William Rossi. Remember, during the campaign, even business communities did not want to associate with him, William Samoy Ruto. So, Ruto was here searching, number one, uh, for a, a running mate. Characters of the running mate that Ruto would want to have, a fighter, a mobilizer, with deep pockets, three elements. So, Gashagwa was fitting for that bill. And according to the insider sharing this, this information is that he invested two billion in all this. In order for him to tip the scale against Kiture Kindiki in his favor. Remember, the issue of finance factors. 
It is what influenced William Samuel Ruto to choose Rigathi Gachagua, despite the fact that 26 members of parliament from Mount Kenya region voted in favor of Kithure Kindiki against Gachagua. Ruto Akamwa ni mesema ni Gachagua the issue of financial factor. Why he did not have money? Uhuru Kenyatta did not open outlets for William Ruto to loot in order for him to prepare and invest for his campaign. So it has been established that no MOU was signed at the time, though Gashankwa expected that he is going to recover his money immediately they ascend to power. Two billion. So I to get that house pop and recover my money. That is what Gashagwa believed. This makes me remember about what he was saying. That Uhuru Alieka Chopa Wilson Airport, he can pay billions of money from State House. Akuna pesa when pata uko. You remember how that narrative was originated? So, going by this information, or allegation, then people will easily conclude that the difference between Ruto and Gashagwa has a mind because of money. Gashagwa has not been allowed to recover the two billion Kenyan shillings alleged. And uh, there is something that, that has been shared here, though also from Madena member of parliament, Eric Wambui. He's alleging that Gashagwa is blackmailing Ruto, demanding 10 billion Kenyan shillings. <laughs> I figure he believed that uh, he could have made between 2018 to 2022. You know, Ruto started amounting a campaign against Uhuru Wakati Uhuru Alisema Tanga Tanga Remember So Gashaka believed that if he had not gone for William Samuel Ruto he wouldn't have risked his business and therefore he would have earned this money if not for harassment from Uhuru Kenyatta's administration Akekua Tumuzuri na Serikali Angefanda Beshara Yaka at another 10 billion So imagine with two billion alleged campaign money, now it's demanding ten billion. They believe it's blackmail. This is what I want to read this statement. Eh? Upon ascending to presidency, Gashaga wanted more than he could handle. Critics now say that his fight with Ruto stems from his desire to recover the money he invested in election instead of being contented with his position. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a problem we suffer as a country when we allow tenderpreneurs to ascend to power. Even in the campaign, they were in business. Now we have two tenderpreneurs at the helm of power. They are busy fighting to recover their money. No wonder Kenyans are saying both Ruto and Kashakwa must go. You should ask yourself a question. Why is it that we've been overtaxed more than any other regime? The thirst for money that Ruto has and his regime. What Kashakwa was supporting? But we don't see any development. Instead, we see everything increasing in price from basic commodity Pesa zinaenda wapi? Tunalipa madeni, tunalipa madeni. Uhuru alikuwa analipa madeni with 8% finance bill 2022. Ruto came with 16%. No development. Hatuwanu chochote, lakini pesa zinaenda wanaitu wanalipa. He's making more than what Uhuru was making. In fact, he's doubling. Sasa mmejua mahali penye shimo ilichimwa na pesa zinaenda. Now, there is anger from the people. Kabla Ruto anaambia Gashaga sasa imefika mahali tutasimamisha hii mambo rizike na ile ukona. Gashaga need his money. I don't want to care about protest or what. Remember the rejected finance bill and all that. 
2024. Now you see. Niliona mahali nyingine kashaka akiambia Ruto ndio resign anataka 4000 for every vote Ruto got in Mount Kenya. Kama unileta milioni tatu ya kura, anataka pesa ngapi? Kama unileta milioni nne, anataka pesa ngapi? You can do math for yourself. So for Gashagwa, he needed his money immediately and this can explain the reason why an office that was built at a at a 450 million Kenyan shillings was being renovated at a cost of 600 million Kenyan shillings kupaka tu rangi na kurekebisha vitu mbili tatu pale ofisi ya deputy president now you can see where the money was going to we should be worried when we see most of the business people moving around these politicians when they are seeking for elective seat sana sana ukiwa na presidential election they come in to invest their money but they need their money back but then there is difference here for these business people they would need some contracts which is good they can cover their money through contract if they just do genuine contracts but now the worst thing the bombshell here for kashaka is that he just need his money apewa contract na pia apewa hizi pesa 2 billion he don't want to be contented like the statement is saying with his position the deputy president with the powers and privilege at his disposal he ni vita ya pesa i invested 2 billion i need my money back that is it i don't know your views but you can go through those stories and also give us your views in the comment section so thank you so much let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion